Good morning, nursery air. We're going to be reading a book about a Spencer of Pisces. They're brothers, jellyfish brothers, okay? It's going to be a lovely story. Spencer was a jellyfish and Pisces was also. They lived together in the sea. Their wet and shining home. Their dear mother and father were gone. So they only had each other. No mommy, no daddies. They used to sing a song together. They were really happy every time they were singing it. And it was a really, really funny one. It was, my brother, my brother, he is not sweet, not as smelly. I love him from down in my jelly belly. Aww. They often sing that to each other and went to the ocean waves. One morning... A storm from a really far place came with lots of clouds and a lot of waves. And oh no, a really big wave, superior magnitude wave, swept the sense away. Superior magnitude is a really big wave, okay? Nursery A, big, big, superior magnitude. Help, Spencer, save me said Pisces in really scary voice as the wave of superior magnitude washed him into the distant distance. Oh, I'm coming, said Spencer. He tried bravely to speed his way to Pisces, but he was racing slowly, so, so slowly. How fast can a jellyfish run or swim? Spencer was in essence a floater. But he thought, I know somebody of a superior magnitude who can help me. That means really big, Spencer thought. So he went and called that somebody. Hmm, who could it be? Who do you think, nursery, eh? Who's that? Yes, that's going to be a... What, what, do you know it? What, what? A whale. Well, please, please help me find my brother. Swept away by a wave of a superior magnitude. Well, his friend Whale said, Okay, which way did he go? That way, Spencer pointed his many tentacles excitedly. The whale landed himself over the wild and salty sea. Ahead of him was Spencer, ever on the lookout for Vicente's brother. Along the way, Spencer asked a mermaid he knew, Have you seen my brother? Your brother, who's sweet, not smelly. Yes, that brother. Mm, sweet, not smelly. He was washed by a wave. By wave of superior magnitude, said the mermaid seemingly. All scaled in shimmery, he pointed towards a distant island. Thanks, Spencer said, and he paused on. Now, by good whale, the whale of superior magnitude. Have you seen my brother? said Spencer, really, really sad to anyone that came along. A seahorse rose up from a forest. The forest that was in the sea. Have you seen my brother? Asked Spencer. And the seahorse said, Yes, I've seen your brother. The seahorse showed him with his tail the way. Ah, so are they going to go that way all together? Uh -huh. Spencer said, Have you seen my brother? Spencer kept calling through the limpid ocean water. A sea star called from an out grouping of rock. Your brother, yes, I seen your brother. Oh, where? Spencer shout, as loud as a jellyfish could possibly shout, obviously. There, the sea star waved at an arm towards the beach. 
Oh, I think they're all happy because they can see him now, yes? And that's really good news. Sure enough, off in the distance, it was Vicente. He looked woozy, dizzy, touched, and stunned from the storm. But how grand he was afloat on water, not strand in the sun. Spencer was overjoyed, really happy. But he didn't go near, for fear he was scared of being beached, to go to the beach and not being able to go to the sea. By now, all the ocean creatures Spencer had met were eager to help him save Vicente, his brother. They crowded closer and closer. But do you know how can we do that? Maybe because someone can help. Oh, yes! Suddenly, a passing pelican, a bird, came. Hold fast! I'll skip him up, he declared. He swooped low, beak open to slurp his end. Please don't, Spencer shouted, concerned that the pelican might swallow his end, of course, by accident. Oh, I can understand that. Everybody in the stood that love of a brother, even the pelican, emitted somewhere else. There was an essence. Stand back, friends. I'm rushing in, yelled Spencer, despite his fear of being washed up on the sand. He gathered all his jellyfish self together. He blasted with all his jellyfish heart. My brother, my brother, still sweating and smelly. I love him from down in my jelly belly. <gasps> That sound parked Vicent up. The sound of his brother's voice, Vicent blinked his eyes. Brother, I don't think I can make it. Oh, poor Vicent, look at his face. Then he's a little bit sad even, isn't it? Yes, you can, called Spencer inspirationally. As one, the gather safe all girls. Yes, you can! From Spencer's words, Vicente took heart. With his last spark of birth, he slurped to himself, feebly towards Spencer. Oh, look at them! They're again together! Then, the whale smacked a fluke of superior magnitude and sent a foaming wave. The wave washed Vicente up, floating him to Spencer. And all of them are happy, the octopus, the turtle, the seahorse. In a tenderness of tentacles, the brother clasped each other, an embrace of superior magnitude. Then the whale sent the foaming ocean waves to send them back home. Oh, that was a lovely story, Nursery A. Look at them so happy, the brothers. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.